We'll start from the shotgun at the 25. First play from scrimmage for the year, and it's a completion. Starters on the offensive line, Cornelius McCoy, big time player as well at wide receiver. Well, play fake, and they're going to go back to thrash. Look to fill that void by Sam Pinckney. There's the first run, and it's to the season. There's kind of a lull, fumbled the ball a little bit, but really, really finished strong. And speaking of fumbles, there's one. Ball is loose. Back on the field to the right of Brown as they start at the 25. Well, play fake. And that's it. They bring five. And another over four. He's, he was always the go-to guy for Quad Brown. Third down and ten. Pressure again. Brown got rid of it. Oh, and converting. Going with tempo yeah. as they want to do. McCoy makes the And let me tell you, they love his energy. Third down and nine. Brown. And that was deflecting. It's bringing basically everybody back that's making a lot of mistakes early. They're start on the ground. And looks like they may be going now with Carroll. Quad Brown, time to throw, trying to hook up with his tight end. He plays with no Pickney in the game. Army rushing four, and they get home. Brown for a loss of seven, and the Panthers will have to kick again. In just a textbook swim move by Carter over Pat Bartlett, the right guard. Watch, just has turned basically all their players. All right, Georgia State has to get on track. Destin Cope deep into the play clock. Second and two, nice spin. Carolina, I think will be great. Grayson McCall, Sunbelt Player of the Year, comes back at quarterback. That's going to be a first in Lafayette, Louisiana. I mean, it, it seems like he is primed for a coaching call to a bigger program. Jemias Williams checks in. Here on second down and nine, there's an option pitch for Georgia State, and it's Williams who has 20. Hard downhill runner. We'll see if they feed him here on third down and two. Nope, play fake to him. Go to the tight end, Roger Carter. Commercial breaks while watching cartoons. <laughs> Working on those hands, Tiff. That's what it's all about. Did it at an early age. Jamari Thrash avoids a tackle. Quad Brown get involved in this run game, too. Back to Destin Coates. And finds a bill. This is the longest drive of the day for the Panthers. Most impressive ninth play. What a catch by. Best drive of the day. Almost four minutes. Here's Coates finding some room. Inside the 10. The 5 to the end. By the wide receiver McC uh, Cornelius McCoy on the outside. Just a zone run. He picks the hole and then boom. Pops it outside. Look at the block. Today, he's out on COVID protocol, their big receiver. And this one is intercepts. Jump that route. Jamari Moore had three interceptions last year. Quad Brown looking there the entire way. It's had some words of advice at halftime yeah. from Quad. And hopefully Quad leaned on him at halftime and said, hey, what, what, what can I do? Just ahead of halftime. Which led to a touchdown for Army. He'll pitch it out here to Williams. Jamias Williams. And he has a great deal of respect for him for that. <laughs> putting, I wonder what that is because this game is far from over. He's looking to throw here. Pumps. Now an ugly looking. Yeah, maybe. Third and 17. Throwing right down the. Nothing going right today for the Panthers. Can they convert here? Hit. He when he was at USC, but 10 touchdowns in the four games he played last year. Looking pretty good. Quad Brown out in the flat to Tucker. Greg. Bina Bonsu is down. Offense. So after the penalty, Georgia State into plus territory. Keep it out of this offense, Georgia State's offensive hands, and then capitalize with scores. Quad Brown taking a shot deep. It's overthrown. There's some bumping. It's a lack of confidence out of him right now. Brown quickly to Thrash, who was very good in the first half, especially for this team is at an all-time high with all the veterans they have coming back. It just yeah, hasn't well, where looked is just haven't been very good. Yeah, coach is trying to calm Gilmore down the sideline. Very frustrated. There's Thrash again, another first. Now run it inside with Coates. He bounces and here all of a sudden this is just a completely different game. Yes, maybe it's some better pass plays they get, but this offense is just looking out of sync. We've got a whole season ahead of us here, but we can't start off like this. Play action, slant, slot receiver terribly. You don't see a ton of missed tackles out there. They just do their job, they're in the right place. 
Gannon out there. Brown pumps. He's going to flip it to the end zone. And a great job, too. Of now, oftentimes, you'll see that defender on that play as they reach across. They hook with the right. I'm sure there's some people thinking, where's the penalty flag? Nope. That was just good defense. Brought him down to the turf. You see him off the, toward the bottom of your screen. Point program, four winning seasons the last five years. He's going to get win number 50 today. Not been a game you would expect from a team with 22 starters back. That's from you high school in Gwinnett County. Third down and nine for Brown. He's being chased, and he gets hit again. I'm Jonathan Bass, and, and he's not hard to find. He's six foot seven, Clay, but the length at the defensive end position, and he gets off the ball quick, and, and we've seen. Conway, South Carolina, transferred in from Furman, the FCF's program. And that competition was going on between he and Claude Brown. And spit. And, and you don't want to just turn your back on that. I think it's a little too early for that, but I think certainly you, you start looking a little bit. The main thing is.